This is Barney, a one-year-old miniature poodle. He's about to have his ears cleaned in the hands of a real expert. Yitka Krizova is one of Europe's top dog groomers. Sasha is enjoying herself. <laughs> Originally from Slovakia, she now lives and works in Britain. She's been showing and grooming dogs for 20 years and has won an impressive array of awards. British Groomer of the Year Award 2006, Eurogroom winner three times in a row, and in 2011, she clipped and snipped her way to the World Championships as a member of Groom Team England. Yitka's sharing her champion tips and techniques to help you keep your dog in pristine condition. For many dogs, a mild swabbing with ear cleanser is enough to keep their ears healthy. But for curly, wavy, coated breeds like Poodles, Bichons, Schnauzers, Shih Tzus and Lhasa Apsos, it's not so straightforward. It's important to keep your dog's ears very clean and tidy. Dog's ears should be odor free, hair free and dirt free. Some of the breeds, like Barney here, have long hair growing from inside the ear canal. These hair have to be plucked out and then we will clean the ear with cotton wool and ear cleanser. We put a little bit of ear powder in dog's ears. Grab a little bit of hair between your thumb and finger and pull. We're using ear powder to make plucking ears easier. It helps us to grab the hair and also it release the hair a little bit. If you don't pluck your dog's ears, the whole ear canal can become blocked with hair. This stops the air from circulating and can lead to infection. Dogs with droopy ears are especially susceptible to fungus, waxy ears and ear mites. People can do uh, ear plucking or ear cleaning at home. Sometimes it's not a very pleasant experience for a dog, especially the ear plucking. And um, probably would be better if it is done by professional dog groomer or vet nurse. When we start early age with ear plucking, dogs can get used to it. It doesn't have to be stressful. Dogs like Barney with hairy, long ears may be prone to picking up grass seeds in their ears. Arrow-shaped grass seeds tend to attach themselves to the fur and then work their way down the ear canal, coming to rest right up against the delicate eardrum. This is very painful and requires immediate veterinary attention. Next, using cotton wool and ear cleanser, Yitka gently removes any dirt and excess earwax from Barney's ear. When you wipe in the ear, don't go any further than you can see. Otherwise, it could cause ear irritation. Ear cleaning can be done every three, four weeks, up to six weeks. Now Barney's ears are nice and clean. Uh, we should keep eye on dog's ears and check them on a regular basis. If your dog has an infection, you'll probably notice him scratching or shaking his ears. If you see any redness, scabs, unpleasant odour, don't try to clean the ears on your own. Take your dog to the vet.